plagues and pandemics have ravaged the world over the last century. From the Spanish flu, which was the most severe pandemic of the previous history, to coronavirus that affects the lives of many today. In 1918, just as World War I was coming to an end, the world was hit by a devastating outbreak of flu. It was caused by a virus thought to have come from birds. H1N1 infected 500 million people, about a third of the world's total population. And 50 million died in three waves of infection, including large numbers of healthy people aged 20 to 40 years old. In 1957, a new flu strain emerged in East Asia. It was first detected in Singapore and Hong Kong. This H2N2 virus was soon found in coastal cities in the America. It killed more than 1 million people worldwide. And more than 10% of those who died were in the U.S. In 1968, again, a highly contagious new flu virus spread quickly across the globe. H3N2 was related to the virus that caused the 1957 pandemic. It mutated quickly, making it hard to develop a vaccine, and killed about 1 million people worldwide. Most were over 65 years old. The virus continues to circulate a seasonal flu today. In 1980s, a new virus began to spread. HIV has claimed around 75 million people and has claimed 32 million lives. There were 38 million people living with HIV in 2018, including 1.7 million children. Thanks to advances in treatment, the fatality rate has dropped. 770,000 people died from HIV-related illnesses in 2018. And while there is still no vaccine, scientists are optimistic that there will be one day. Today, the COVID-19 pandemic continues to spread around the world, with hundreds of thousands of cases and an increasing death toll. There is no vaccine or cure yet, but more than 80,000 people have recovered. What are you doing to help slow the spread of COVID-19?